What's all this? Medasi. Thank you very much. I agree. I am from the village. good morning and welcome back to another vlog so guys i woke up like one hour ago and hey gonna for <laughs> gonna for like since i woke up um, it's just so quiet i don't know the windows are open i don't know if you can see the windows is actually open and it's so quiet like quiet it's as if we are the only one living in this vicinity guys and it just got me wondering, oh, like, I don't get it. I okay, okay, okay. I understand when Europe is quiet and yeah, yeah. But guys, I actually do miss that you know that African vibe you get when you wake up in the morning. It's not like you hear a lot of uh, you know like shouting or fighting or whatever. No, 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 no. Is it where I used to live in Ghana? Yeah. Let me say that because first some people will come for me and say, Hey, have you been to this place? Have you been to here? Yeah, have you been to that? So have you been to here? Yeah, yeah, have you been to this? Uh, mm -mm. Like my area where I lived in Ghana was not that you know, hey, ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, no, 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 no. But, but when you wake up in the morning, ah, ah, you will know that you are in Africa. You will know that you have woken up. In fact, when you have here, hey, Sheila, oh, Koskwana, ah, ah, yeah, tell me, yeah, tell me, yeah, tell me, yeah, tell me, are they? When you begin to hear all those, uh -huh, you know, they are break, they are break. Or if you don't hear that, if it's like after the morning, you begin to hear some bim, bim, ah. They are break. No, they are break. When you hear that sound, if you are living in a compound house, ah. Jai, master Jai. You begin to hear the bim. You know that you are, you are, you know that something is happening. You know that you are not alone. There is, you have company like they are neighbors. You feel the environment like oh, I'm part. There are people here. Ah, uh -uh, there are people. Ah, uh -uh, what are you telling me? But yeah, now nah, help me to see. Even bed, self. I'm even looking for bed. Bed, you want to give me some music this morning? Day two. I don't know if they are already or what. I don't even know. You just hear one bed in every one hour or two, three beds. Guys, the reason why I picked up my camera this morning was just me feeling like, okay, I miss that vibe. These days, the way I've been missing home, I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about hastening my trip to Africa because the way your girl be feeling these days, the way I've been feeling these days now, it's like I'm homesick. Yeah, I'm homesick. There's nothing you can tell me. Sandra is homesick. There are things I also miss in my country. Like, for instance, ah, God. If it's not economy that is doing us all these things now, God give us good leaders so in that Nigeria. Eh? Like, there are things that I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely miss. Is it just waking up to that bustling feeling like you are in Ninja? Hey, God, you know, Ghana has its own vibe when you wake up in the morning. Nigeria has its own vibe when you wake up in the morning. Like in Nigeria, like when you wake up like this, ah, you don't know yet. Oh, Sarah, we're not going to get up. We're not going to go to school today. Oh, Sarah. Oh, Satoa, Those are Benin names, by the way, because I grew up in Benin. You're already hearing mothers' voices who are calling their kids to get ready for school. You're already hearing, you know, the sounds of buses if you are living in the area, cars, things, life, everything is going on. You're already hearing some people doing some... Oh, God. Okay. I know that could be a lot. But, guys, <laughs> that's just the African vibe. 
And when you stand up, when you open your window, let me show you guys my window. Let me let me show you outside. Oh, this. Let me show you uh, outside you. Guys, I'm practically surrounded by trees. Trees, yo. Look at my neighbor's house. I can't even see my neighbor's window. Barely see my neighbor's window. I don't know. Guys, so. We need some noise. Okay. Okay, guys. Let me take my African self inside the house before they say, ah, this one are for village. Come. Eh, thank you very much. Medasi. Thank you very much. I agree. I am from the village. Anyway, guys, my windows are open. You can hear. There are no sounds. Yeah, okay. We're not living in a busy area. That's true. Because the way, you know, it's been structured, I don't know, in Germany here, where houses are like where people live, it's kind of very quiet. You don't see a lot of shops or companies or kind of things like that. Even churches are not built like in residential areas. You, they have areas that, okay, when you go to the city, you see those things. Or when you go to industrial areas, you see like, you know, uh -huh, they're kind of like segregated and arranged everywhere nicely because for here they don't joke with their peace of mind, with their peace, quiet and but sometimes it get boring. <laughs> eh, hey, if you like, say I'm loud. If you like, say hey, they make noise. I don't care. I don't care. Give me some, some, some action. Come live, be. <sighs> anyway, enough of my ranting. I'm just saying that I miss all the action. Normally, all those little little sounds and you know noises and talk I hear from my window or you know just around. It's already getting me to a point of okay, slowly waking up. You don't even need too much alarm. <laughs> when that cock will crow, when you hear Shalamami's voice, when you hear, when you hear, when you hear that fufu sound, uh, you, you, you gotta wake up. Okay, so better. Thank you. Thank you. It took you that long. Yeah, so guys, that's just how I'm feeling this morning. I just need some busy, busy activity in my life. So I'm going to get myself up get ready and since they say i cannot get the action around me i'm gonna go to where the action is so i'm going to the city today to just you know actually care for myself actually just being a wife being a mom i tend to kind of forget most time to care for myself that is something that you know i need to pay conscious attention to it's something that i used to do and i used to pay so much attention to but for some time now no girl is not doing any of that like your girl is not doing any of that i don't know why i just get so carried away with a lot of things i'm busy i'm busy i don't really like you know go out much or just take myself out let me put it like that so today i've decided that okay i'm gonna go out by myself go for some pedicure take good care of myself you know what i'm saying look good <laughs> Go for some shopping, pamper myself very well without you know, or be or baby girl. Mm -hmm. Baby girl is gonna be with her grandma, and yeah, I'm gonna go alone. Yes, so this vlog is just gonna be me just spending time with myself and doing what you know, yeah, what I missed. All those homesick I've been getting. If I could get an African restaurant, I would love to go to an African restaurant, but unfortunately, here. I've not really found a good one around us, to be honest. And if I have to go to one, it's very far away, and I don't have that time or energy for that. So I will just make do what I have, and yeah, go to the busy city to get some action and get that feeling, like buzzing feeling that I want to get, and just you know, spend time with myself. Even if you are married, even if you are a mom, you have. There are sometimes you just need to spend time like with yourself it's very important self-care self-love and just taking time to just relax not really necessarily thinking of okay this has to be done that has to be done we have to do this we have to do that we have to get the laundry done we have to do this one um, i just thank god that when it comes to cleaning up the house especially when it comes to you know deep cleaning it gets so exhausting so i thank god that now we have a cleaning company that comes to clean for us every two weeks like once every two weeks so twice a month 
they do the deep cleaning and I just tend to just you know do some one or two touch up during the week and all that and that is relieving like relieving I can't even begin to say how relieving like that is far so guys before I keep ranting here and this video is going to be of me just talking and ranting I just miss chatting with you guys I'm not used to vlogs and that's why I don't know I don't really I'm used to just sitting down and chatting you know doing sit down videos and all that vlogs is kind of for me uh, I don't know how to put it it's stressful would I say carrying the camera up and down you know moving Ugh. but not to worry I will try my best to incorporate more vlogs but I'm not promising but I'll try my best I've missed you all and yeah I know I've not been consistent I keep saying this but I will try my best but I cannot promise my butt has become plenty many many butts okay then let's head out so guys I'm in a hurry to catch my bus my bus come in about six minutes or so yeah so I have to hurry up to catch my bus and look at me feel that's the way they hurry and they feel <laughs> Okay, guys, let's go there. I'm gonna have not shown you guys my full outfit because I was in a hurry. I will try to show you guys how your girl is looking. Okay, let's hurry up. Tell him no, 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 no. That's my bus stop over there. And my bus comes in three minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost there. I'll make it. Yeah. Us is here, guys. We made it. We made it into the bus, guys. So, here we go. Oh